Hey guys, Multide here, back with another Fortnite video. As you guys can see by the title, today's video is about the Minty Pickaxe. But before we start, as you can see, I actually have a Minty Pickaxe myself. And that's all thanks to Fortnite Store.io on Twitter. Fortnite Store.io sells all different kinds of Fortnite exclusives and in my opinion is very fast and very trustworthy. If you want to get a minty pickaxe from him yourself, you can go to his website and order a code which will be linked in the description. Most people will ask you for your Fortnite login information, but Fortnite Store.io will just send you an email of your code with no login required. Ah. The Minty Pickaxe. I think this pickaxe was more hyped up than when Iconic and Galaxy came out. And it was all by accident. Or was it great marketing? No, it was by accident. I'd say this has to be one of the weirdest accidents that happened with Epic because they didn't really do anything to stop it. Around the end of October, GameStops around America were supplied with these cards of a purple and green pickaxe with green flames on them, and apparently were only told to give them when someone bought something Fortnite related and nothing else. I mean, you could obviously buy, like, buy something Fortnite related in another game or something. But basically, if they were like buying something and nothing was related to Fortnite, they wouldn't get a code. It's impossible to find now, but a guy actually went to GameStop the same day they were supplied with these codes, and he actually tweeted out that he got a code, but no one believed it at first. And everyone thought the card was faked until more and more GameStops were giving the cards out. And then I think literally like 45 minutes later, all GameStops received emails from, I guess, Epic saying to stop giving the cards immediately. Like at the time GameStop was supplied with these cards, the pickaxe technically wasn't even in the game yet, so we got to see like a pickaxe early because this one guy accidentally got one. I actually called my local GameStop and before I could even finish what I was asking about, the guy knew exactly what I was talking about and he said that they can't give them out until they'd be available on November 6th. Now that leads me to talking about how Epic basically did nothing to stop it, which I still find weird. In just an hour, damage was already done, cards were going everywhere on Twitter, and some people literally got thousands of them. Like, what did you threaten that GameStop employee to, to... Do you see this picture? If you go on Twitter and just search the word Minty, there's over 1,000 tweets an hour. Oh my god. Epic could have stopped everything and disabled all codes with people who redeemed them, but I guess they kind of just didn't care. That's what they did when Honor Guard first came out, actually. People figured out how to get unlimited codes, and Fortnite just disabled all codes and actually took everyone's Honor Guard. Now, of course, when Fortnite usually gives out codes and stuff, or if they have codes for something that's exclusive, they don't run out because it's digital codes, but it's looking like this pickaxe is actually limited. Eventually, it will run out, and in fact, on all Minty Pickaxe code cards, it says that all codes will expire on some, sometime during February 2020. I think it said February 6th, not sure. And this led people to selling these codes, which is very smart of them. And it's the reason why they're a bit expensive. People say that you can just go to GameStop and just buy like a $3 Fortnite keychain or something to get the code, but I don't think they'll do that. I'm pretty sure you're going to have to buy something at least over like $10 or something or else they're going to run out of these codes super fast. And it's really smart of these people to sell these codes that get them because not every place has a GameStop. So obviously not everybody can get this code. But yeah, this was just kind of a quick, fun, cool video about the Minty Pickaxe. And I personally think the Pickaxe is super cool. And if you can't go to a GameStop or if your GameStop ran out of codes, I recommend buying them off the internet, especially from, again, Fortnite Store IO. Of course, codes everywhere online are a bit expensive for the people that's selling them, but I'd say if you can't get a code from GameStop or if you're not in the US, you'd better buy one off the internet before they get even more rare and expensive. Anyways, that's it for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.